Welcome back everybody to Life is Strange. It's very stormy. The storm is approaching to Arcadia Bay. Every everyone is doomed. We're all doomed. Anyway, it's been now uh, about two weeks since episode 5 came out. Wait, why does it say continue? Previously on Life is Strange. Oh, alright. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Usually what you have you like the, the episode Rachel select screen after you finish one. But over this one over. just lets you continue. From episode 4. We can't four. trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all so anyway, teenagers. it's been two weeks since episode 5 came out, so I guess oh, I've look. been missing out on the, uh, on the hot freshness. What are you freshness. doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. Man, this is not gonna be viewer based anymore. Because it's been two weeks, everyone's gonna have seen it already, but I just want to finish this game. Because episode 4 what was fucking amazing, here, that ending. Gosh darn. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. That's a really long uh, <gasps> flashback. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. You can save her. Just Nathan, take one picture where she's serious. still alive. Go back. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? It was Mr. Jefferson all along. Gosh darn it. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, come on, what's happening? Oh, uh, that's one of those weird lighting umbrellas that photographers use. I wonder, actually, who... Who looked at an and uh, looked at an umbrella and went, "Hey, you know what this would be good for? Lighting. Square Enix. I don't know what the little R stands for. It's not incorporated, I guess." Ah, yeah, that's all the stuff in the dark room, the bunker, the bunker, bunker. Oh god, there's a hand. The hand is moving. Don't not entertainment. I love you guys. Seriously, you're you're like the the next Telltale Telltale Games. Actually, I've been enjoying this game more than I've been enjoying any recent Telltale games. They they kind of lost that charm. Episode five, polarized. Oh, we've been taped to a chair. She's got nice kicks. And by kicks, I mean, uh, shoot. For all of you that are not, uh, not aware of, of street lingo. Yeah. This is kind of a slow start. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, the camera moves really fast all of a sudden. Chloe? Chloe's dead! Where? The dark room. Oh my god, there's Victoria? Holy shit. This is just tape. Is anybody out there? Please, help! Detach. <laughs> Help! Somebody help me! Of course. And right in front of me. What is that? Is that 
Oh, it's a cell phone. Cell phone, okay. Left hand. Yeah, let's just... These straps are hurt. Let's just try to get through all the motions. You put your left foot in, you pull your left foot out. Finally, I'm free. Almost. If I could move it towards me. There's a photo? Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. God, I don't remember anything that happened. All right, let's pull that thing closer so I can actually. Nathan used on Kate. All right, now we can see the picture. All right, that's just her on the ground. Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Yeah, this is this is really fucked up. Victoria, wake up. Wake up! Yeah, she's still too far out there, man. Um, all right, we've got this trolley now, but I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Focus on the pic on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Ah, uh, great, okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Oh, Max. That is creepy in a sexual kind of way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Wow, he's a psycho! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. What are those shadows of a bat? Oh, yeah, right, because... Going to the past doesn't actually Don't allow move. us to, to move very far. We're like confined to a single space. Like back back when we saved <sighs> Chloe's dad, we Much were confined to that to the living room area of the house. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. I feel really distressed it's right just now. It's too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands you oh. really should have focused on schoolwork not private detecting with your little friend chloe chloe right yeah i'm sorry that i killed that nathan killed her in self-defense but she had a troubled history like most arcadia bay dropouts oh you Nobody fucking asshole or care though i promise People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. 
Maybe a few more close-ups. You fucking freak ass. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Oh. I can't do anything. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. Not the kind of shot I want to take. Creep jerk. Did we just, we just changed something? that happened so sick all right we've got a new picture mm -hmm. <laughs> she's still not coming coming to is she yeah, we definitely go there's a folder wait Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos good now I can use them I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. What's that over there? Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Victoria, you awake now? Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Oh, she's 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 awake. Oh god. Where where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. Oh, God damn, we sent her straight head. into his arms. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Nobody's going to... I have a plan. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. She's in hospital without any physical injuries. Well, okay, she, she's very mentally injured and emotionally, but physically, she's fine. We're both here. We'll see her again. We'll see her again. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Alright, good. 
So now that we've got that done with... Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Focus. This might work. Please work. She's wearing a fucking butterfly shirt, I just realized. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell, Go to asshole. hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. When you told the principal that I made Kate cry, I thought you almost had me. It's good our esteemed Principal Wells is like most administrators. A closet drunk. Well. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Wow. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of... Touching for a while. Or Did you tell him prick. everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. 
I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Ooh, For Chloe harsh words. and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alright, everybody. Um, that's gonna be it for today. This was really creepy as an intro to this, uh, to this new episode, and... I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I say goodbye.